Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Long Box. What we're doing is another what you're reading. So I'm just going through the stack of comics that I've read. This is The Valiant Heroes. This is by RJ from The Fourth Age. So this is the floppy comic for The Valiant Heroes. This is the graphic novel for The uh, Valiant Heroes. So this is all of his little books in, in, in one big collection. All right, read that. This is Heroinberg number one. I met Harold Berg a couple of weeks ago. He took my address. He sent me a comic. It didn't get to me. And then he sent me another one. So if the second one shows up, I will give it away. This is going to get its own video. So I'll put it away. All right. Geek Girl. I, I really enjoyed these. I, I got a whole big collection of Geek Girl. I read the first two. I, I read the first four miniseries. I read the first two four-issue miniseries. I don't know why that was difficult to say. Uh, it's kind of wonky. You, you, you know, you got to suspend your disbelief. Uh, two two guys are, you know, in cells and, and they're geeks and they invent glasses that give superpowers. That premise is wonky. Uh, this girl wants the glasses. So she, you know, they play strip poker. The winner gets the, gets the glasses. So, you know, or the, you know, the, yeah, the winner gets the glasses. So she gets the other guys drunk and, and naked, gets the glasses, and now she's geek girl. You know, it like I said, it it's better than it deserves to be. It, it, it's kind of hokey, kind of silly, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. No nudity, you know. It 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 doesn't have any. Like I said, doesn't have any nudity in it, uh, which is the opposite of this. Maidens of Mayhem. This is uh, the blue bombshell. Uh, why can't I remember her name? And then the Pirate Queen. And it's just, it's well-drawn booby comics. What do you want me to say? You know, you like it. It's by Mayhem Comics. You could get by Clint Helinski. You know, that's that. Punchline. My friend Bill Williams. I really like Punchline, you know. Uh, so here are issues. I just, I just ordered up to 15. So this is the last issue that I read. Oh. Justice League number 12, Justice League of America number 12, the first appearance of Dr. Light. You know, it's just, just fun. Just fun. This I really enjoyed. This is, you know, a reimagining of, uh, what was it, Earth 3, which is the one with the Freedom Fighters, or Earth 5, you know, where, where the Nazis win the war. And, you know, so you got Superman who's who's a, who's a master man, and he's, his conscience is bothering him, and he's becoming, you know, good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. And who's, you know, the Nazis aren't going to do it. What are they going to do? He's too powerful. We got Creepy number 10. Look at that, that Frankenstein monster. Uh, Warp. This is uh, rapidly declining because I, I got this because I absolutely love the Frank Bruno artwork. I was forgiving the, the, the hokey storytelling. But now that Frank uh, Bruner isn't, isn't inking himself. It's, it's just diminishing every issue. Th th these were pretty good because they were the first uh, appearances of Bill Willingham as a comic book artist. So that was kind of cool. Fem Force. What can I say about Fem Force? It's, you know, it's, it's Fem Force. <laughs> I know that's just a, a cheesy thing to say. And I actually hate when my wife goes, it is. It, you know, what's that ice cream? It's ice cream. I hate that. You see, but the, the, just this Frank Bruner artwork is so gorgeous. You know, it's just so good. So good. And then we got Sizzle over here. I got this because I really like Milo Manara. I got a box full of comic magazines with some heavy metal, Omni. Um, uh, why can't I think of the other stuff? But, you know, so I'm just sitting down and finally reading them. Not great. Not bad. It's 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 booby stuff. Speaking of booby stuff, Attack of the 50-Foot Booby. You know, Fem Force 32. The Return of Gargant. It's actually a pretty good story. It's really good. Oh, here, here's the last. No, no, this isn't the last issue. But this is the League of Larcenists and Geek Girl. This is the last issue of Geek Girl that I read. I think this might be the last issue that I have. This cover I really like. This girl is just like, just imagine she she's a social media girl. She's got like an OnlyFans girl and, she, and she's in, you know, instead of getting plastic surgery, she's swapping body parts out for like cyber tech. It's actually kind of scary in a way. So Nina Dante, you know, she 
she got beat up by Geek Girl once, and all her fans want to see her get beat up more. So she's like Geek Girl superhero. She's not. So she's you know she already she got a bionic eye, and then she's swapping it up for for, for bionic parts to give her stuff. I I don't know this this. I find this to be a tragic character. That's actually pretty interesting. So there you go. That's what I've been reading. Right, bye bye.